How to get rid of pink eye, conjunctivitis. Pink eye, also known as conjunctivitis, is an inflammation of the conjunctiva. The conjunctiva is a mucous membrane that covers the white part of the eye, the sclera. It also lines the inside of the eyelids. Pink eye symptoms include redness of the conjunctiva, pain, scratchiness, burning, swelling, and discharge. The redness is due to the dilatation of blood vessels. Namely, an increase in blood supply allows cleaning of dead cells and toxins from your eye. Moreover, it enables white blood cells to reach the target area. What causes pink eye? Viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites are responsible for infectious conjunctivitis. Whereas allergens, drugs, chemicals and toxins cause non-infectious conjunctivitis. All the forms of infectious conjunctivitis are relatively contagious. Nevertheless, adenovirus-induced pink eye is highly contagious. Viruses are the most frequent cause of acute conjunctivitis. They cause up to 80% of all cases. It is sometimes difficult to differentiate between bacterial and viral conjunctivitis. Yet, some symptoms are characteristic of each type of infection. For example, symptoms of viral conjunctivitis include itchiness, red spots, blisters and watery discharge. About 80% of viral conjunctivitis cases are due to adenoviruses. Herpes zoster, shingles, is also a common cause of viral ocular infections. Namely, 1% of the population will contract ophthalmic zoster during their lifetime. The herpes simplex virus may induce eye blisters. About 90% of herpes simplex-induced pink eye cases are caused by herpes simplex virus type 1. It primarily infects the face. Whereas, herpes simplex type 2 rarely causes ocular herpes. It is sexually transmitted and mainly infects the genitals. Cytomegalovirus and the Epstein-Barr virus are two other members of the herpes virus family that may cause conjunctivitis. Bacterial pink eye. A whitish, greenish, or yellowish purulent discharge that causes lids to stick together after sleep is commonly a sign of bacterial pink eye. A bacterial infection is the most frequent cause of conjunctivitis cases in children. The most common infectious agents for bacterial conjunctivitis are Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, and Haemophilus species. Besides, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, and Haemophilus influenza are highly virulent bacteria. Fungal pink eye. A fungal conjunctivitis is a common form of ocular infection. Fungal pink eye may be either endogenous or exogenous. That is, it may come from fungus blood-borne spread to the eye from a distant site, or directly introduced into the eye. The most common fungi responsible for mycotic pink eye is Candida albicans. Parasitic pink eye. Parasites are often not entered into the equation when trying to identify the cause of conjunctivitis. Parasitic ocular infections are sometimes mistaken for allergies. Namely, ocular giardiasis has an allergic nature. Furthermore, its diagnosis is generally only made by exclusion. Although some parasites are more common in tropical climates, some others are also prevalent in temperate climates. For example, 90% of the population in France carries Toxoplasma gondii. However, most of these individuals will not develop ocular disease. Among parasites responsible for conjunctivitis, we count protozoa, nematodes, cestodes, trematodes, and ectoparasites. Non-infectious conjunctivitis. Agents responsible for non-infectious conjunctivitis comprise allergens such as pollen and animal dander, as well as toxins such as medicinal eye drops and ointments contact lenses solutions cosmetics and cleaning products. To determine the appropriate treatment for conjunctivitis, 
It is important to differentiate between acute and chronic versions of the disease. Acute pain chi in general has a rapid onset and lasts about four weeks or less. On the other hand, conjunctivitis that lasts longer than four weeks can be considered chronic. Acute pain chi. It is possible to get rid of viral, bacterial, fungal, parasitic, an allergic acute ocular infection with eye drops made from honey. Honey has been known since ancient times for its anti-infectious, anti-inflammatory, and healing properties. It is indeed rich in vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and flavonoids that boost the eye's immune system. Furthermore, honey prevents bacterial proliferation thanks to an enzyme called glucose oxidase. This enzyme produces hydrogen peroxide, a natural antiseptic. Moreover, honey contains inhibins and defensins, proteins with antibacterial attributes. Besides, a low pH, as well as the presence of phenolic acids and flavonoids, also provides honey with antimicrobial activity. Viral conjunctivitis usually does not require treatment. Nonetheless, Honey has also been shown to have antiviral effects. Furthermore, honey has antifungal attributes. Besides, honey displays antiparasitic activity against protozoa and helminths. Manuka honey is a type of honey native to New Zealand. Just like other types of honey, it has antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic, anti inflammatory, and healing properties. Moreover, Manuka honey contains methyldeoxal, a compound that is 100 times more concentrated in manuka honey than in normal honey. This honey has notably been shown to inhibit the proliferation of methicillin resistance to Philococcus aureus MRSA bacteria. Studies have shown that it is safe to use drops made from honey in the eyes. You will find how to make honey eye drops in the next video. Alternatively, Ready-to-use eye drops made from Manuka honey are available online. You will find a link from where you can order them in the description of the video below. Put one drop of honey eye drops in your eyes three times a day. Chronic Pink Eye Your body can fight ocular infections. Cells of your immune system recognize foreign microbes. They attack them directly. This is known as the innate immune response. In addition, immune cells adapt their response specifically to each of type of microbes. This is known as the adaptive immune response. However, these cells can only do their work if they have all the nutrients they require. Just like a car needs gas to keep moving. Besides, if your body is overloaded with toxins, its priority will be to get rid of them before starting its defense mechanism. In the case of chronic conjunctivitis, the treatment is not limited to eliminating bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites from your eye topically. A systemic treatment is necessary. This remedy consists of supplying your body with the nutrients it requires. This will help to detoxify and cleanse your liver and in turn, boost your immune system. In Chinese medicine indeed. The liver externally opens into the eyes. The liver meridian is connected to the eyes and visual capacity mainly relies on the nourishment of liver blood. Therefore, the eyes can reflect the function of the liver. Insufficient blood supply from the liver may cause dry eyes and blurred vision. On the other hand, hyperactivity of the liver will lead to pain and swelling of the eyes. Find out how to cleanse your liver to treat chronic pink eye in the next video.